Okay, so I'll appreciate if you can share your emergency preparedness and response, you know. How do you respond to emergencies? Uh, depending on the emergency, we have a set of uh, contact numbers. Uh -huh. Emergency uh, contact uh, numbers. Yes, we have emergency contact number. As we said right now, we, we are mostly office-based. We had our offices small. Our offices are small. So many emergencies we have always an office. We, we just get on the phone and begin to call the appropriate uh, line. So it's, okay. we have some contact numbers. Uh, I think uh, I think we have this right now. Yes, on your edge. So you have your internal emergency response team under IMS system? Yes, we do have that, and that is actually, uh, let me change this one. Yes, but we do have this. Uh, uh, let me check this one very quickly on my end so I can share. Uh, uh, yes, we do have it. Uh, yes, uh, okay. yes. Uh, Give it, uh, give me a couple of minutes. I'll no, no, no. Uh, I appreciate it. We'll share, you know, emergency response team members like list, you know. Yes. And yes. Uh, any ERP plan or uh, we call it emergency response plan. If that plan is available, like in case of fire, who will do what? In case of any sort of emergency, what is your response? So that ERP plan along with, it could be part of the procedure even like GISP 06. So you can share that one also. So uh, what about the data analysis? How you how do you analyze the data? Like if I ask, you know, for the last one year, how many first aid cases are there? Like back pain, muscle cramp or headache or any small injuries are reported. And how do you record first aid cases in? This is a good question. We do have a summary for, for the past few years. Okay. Uh, we should have we should have a form for recording uh, the incidents, okay. but uh, I'm not confident to say at this point in time that we have filled it. We okay. Do have the form. And, uh, and it is one of the items that we will instruct our people on how to feel. But yes, we have an incident record form. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I hope you understand the purpose why data is important to evaluate and analyze. So we can have the focus area or the red zone area. This is the area where we need to focus in. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. And if any any first aid is reported to you or any injuries are reported, how do you investigate the incidents you know? or any kind of near miss or any kind of incidents? How do you investigate them? At this point in time, we haven't had uh, many incidents, okay. but uh, I can answer in the context of the project that we, we were supposed to start uh, last month or this month. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, our plan is part of the HSC plan was to, to have an HSC committee uh, which was going to be comprised of the HSC manager, uh, site, site supervisor, project manager, and uh, the, the team managers. So those one would follow up all items that I addressed as well as the four-star continuous improvement and ensure compliance with the rules of the So they are the ones who will be investigating. They will uh, the convene, uh, see how we are doing, what was being reported, and if there was an incident, or there's a day, they will sit down and discuss, and then, 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 then follow up what is it, whatever the issue has been addressed. Okay, perfect. But that investigation surely should be with that intention that uh, the things will not repeat it up here. Absolutely. Yeah, corrective preventive actions. Perfect. Okay, so uh, if I talk about the company processes, do you have a list of activities or processes or how many processes you have within your business?
any list of processes or how you are running your business here? Karan, I wanna take this one. Oh, okay, go ahead. So from my side, uh, this one is uh, uh, is my perspective of how the company is run. Right, uh, it might it might be up for for connection from 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 my colleagues who've been uh, at least uh, more time than me. But so far, I can see that we have uh, various departments, and and that is run by departments. We have. Uh, so might be we can ask Mr. Taha, he can contribute, you know, since he's leading to sales and marketing. So he can add some processes like driving as a process, you know. So how frequently he drives as a sales and marketing gentleman. So and where is the risk assessment of that driving process and how we are taking care of Mr. Taha? All right. Okay, that, uh, basically the documents that are with me. Uh, this uh, the driving part I think will come at a SDC, but uh, about the sales and marketing part, we have uh, uh, we have a set of processes mm -hmm. which to be used to conduct and do the commercial aspect and manage the commercial aspect of the company. Mm -hmm. So let me share with you some of those documents okay. uh, so that you can have a quick look. Mm -hmm. So guys, in IMS, it's very much important to check each documentation, uh, the records they have, and most importantly, under each clause of ISO 9001, 14001, or 45001, we need to double check that the company have complete records and documentation, well implemented with sustainability and all that. Yes, Mr. Taha, please go ahead. Yeah. So this is a document of uh, uh, sales and marketing method mm -hmm. and it it has a complete scope mm -hmm. and uh, the procedure which how the activities are conducted, how the prospection is done, and uh, go ahead or not go ahead because we are also catering the tender inquiries. Also, we are uh, catering to the prospection through meetings. Mm -hmm. and the complete process of project execution in that part, ex acceptance and rejection, and further uh, aligning with the teams of project execution and then delivering the project within time. Mm -hmm. And you can say it's a complete process from uh, uh, inquiry till the payment and okay. invoicing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So the description is in this document. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Taha, uh, you are sitting in your office, right? Yeah. Anybody came to have a risk assessment of your office? Like your yeah. chair is good, your tables are good, your shelves are excellent, your floor is perfect, you know, everything is safe. Any risk assessment done of your area, your office? I'm fairly new, and I think... Uh... Uh, I have to jump on that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, please. So you're, you're allowed to we have buy an office in Dubai, especially we have Dubai municipality who come and inspect the office. Mm -hmm. We have to check if the pictures are okay, if we have exit, uh, exit time and all that. And then mm -hmm. they come check also the area if the is working. Like, uh, appropriate, uh, uh, right, uh, 
information for us and for every uh, personnel so that we can get a certificate. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So is it possible if you can share your business risk assessment or kind of SWOT analysis? Because we have risk assessment for the activities like technical activities or processes. And on the other side, uh, we have overall risk assessment of our business. And we mostly use the tool we call SWOT, you know, like uh, your business strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Is that study is done or uh, might be with your general manager? Or it's never done. Uh, 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 general manager is out of the office at the moment. So what we can uh, share, I can share the rest with you. Uh, of course. Okay. Yeah. Any business yeah. study you can share with me where I can have some points that uh, you are taking care of not only the internal processes, even overall business processes, you know. Internally and externally. Okay. So I will share that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, guys, uh, we always check uh, this uh, business risk assessment because since company have integrated management system, so it's very much important under uh, safety, we have to have risk assessment of uh, technical and non-technical processes or activities. And along with that, there should be a business risk assessment. And not only this one, even under 14,001, we must have to have environmental aspects and impacts. So these studies will give us insights how the business is running and how they are taking care of overall uh, the risk involved belongs to all their uh, business activities. And that's why I asked this question, you know, where is the SWOT analysis or business risk assessment or business plan? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so we have uh, environmental aspects. As it identification is there for the risk assessment. I share. Now, I hope you got my point. Company have a complete business plan, business expansion plan, business growth plan. So they do SWOT analysis. They do like business uh, feasibilities, you know, to further expansions and improvements. So that is the document I'm asking if it is available. And it should also be with the sales team, you know, sometime for better understanding the dynamics of their business. So for the processes, um, after, after that, uh, I'll get back to you okay. uh, with that. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check back with the management so that I can share the rest of the okay. uh, procedures. Mm -hmm. Okay.
So I appreciate if you will share your quality policy as well, and HSC policy. And your QHSC objectives for 2024. Where you want to take that? Yeah. Okay, we'll just left for few minutes. I think I can request him to send it to you. Okay, so please, uh, this uh, IMS policies and uh, objectives, you know, like 2024, what are the objectives of uh, QHSC or IMS of twenty twenty four. So Sharon, you have any somebody as a certified lead auditor in your company? Of all three standards? Don't have a certified lead. Uh, however, uh, for Mustafa, is the HSB guy. Mm -hmm. He is certified, but uh, and we get only panel loaded. Okay. So we work as a team to get a person who's certified. Because as we mentioned, this is only uh, the start of the. It's a fairly new company, so we are in the process of uh, improving every day. Excellent, so, excellent, no problem. And uh, I'm sure uh, after this audit, you will have plenty of uh, uh, opinions and suggestions and improvement points. So surely you can uh, follow through. And uh, this is how we improve, because the biggest room in the world is the room for further improvement. So surely okay. we'll be there in charge. So do you have any uh, any gentleman, you know, who is uh, solely responsible just as an investigator for the injuries or near misses or accidents? Or till now you have no uh, such mechanism? Like, you know, several... Yeah. It's the process of getting a sole person. However, as you mentioned, this depends on the project. Mm -hmm. As we are based uh, in the office, until we get a project that we go outside, but internally, we don't have a we don't have an, an a sole person who deals with the injury and all that. Okay. We just have a for instance that happens for all the issues that happens, especially if it's work related. We have like uh, insurance for compensation and all that. Mm -hmm. So please uh, yeah. do me a favor, just share this IMS objectives, targets, or you know, related to uh, quality, health, safety, environment for 2024. Uh, even though you know, just in a written form and make sure they are well shared with all the stakeholders that this is the intention or the targets of your company as a responsible brand and through IMS. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So Sharon, from my side, uh, it's almost done. Uh, let me just coordinate with Mr. Amar. Let's have 10 minutes break. Okay. 
Yeah. And then I just have a few questions for Mr. Amar and then we will wrap up, inshallah. Okay. I'm still online. You can have a 10, 15 minutes break, then rejoin and we can close it up. Okay. Oh, right, sure. Thank you very much.